Joel here with Got Beer TV. Today we're welcoming Max Oswald with the Saratoga Brewery. Tell me about some of the uh, some of the things you're doing with the brewery this year. A lot of things changed this year. Uh, we put in a piece of equipment that will allow us to brew smaller batches. Well, you're familiar with a couple of things we've done so far with the Moon Pie and PB and J. We've got like four or five more in the tank going out uh, later in the year. Excellent. Can you go into depth any of the the flavors that you got coming out? I would tell you, but you know I'd have to kill you if I did that. Fair enough. Now, coming right up after uh, PB&J, we're going to do a coconut IPA, and then we're going to do a lemon bar pilsner, and then we're going to do a black uh, Oktoberfest, a style that I'm not sure anyone's ever heard of. It was just something that we thought would be cool, basically be an Oktoberfest beer with uh, some more color, a little more flavor, and then a little hot bite. Now, we, got, uh, we actually have a beer right here. We have a Saratoga Lager right here and a few flavors. Why Saratoga Lager? Why Saratoga IPA? Why Saratoga Brent? Why should we drink beers that you brew? It's fresh local beers that, that, that are good, solid brews. This is like an Oktoberfest beer, uh, Marzen style. So it's really nice, easy drinking. IPA, of course, really the hottest category. And now what we're doing is so supplementing it with some unique, interesting beers. The, that whole one-off series, we've now got a Pilsner and a Kolsch um, as year-round offerings. Some great information there. If you want any more information on Max's beers, please visit oldsaratogabrew.com or garpier.com. Thank you very much and have a great day. Yeah.